ever wondered how to effectively treat the flu, stay tuned as we explore proven methods to manage and recover from this common viral infection. Before we dive into the details, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe to our channel, and leave your comments below. Engaging with our content helps us bring more useful health tips straight to you. In this video, we're going to break down the basics of flu treatment. From understanding the symptoms to knowing when to see a doctor, we've got you covered. We'll be providing essential tips on how to take care of yourself or a loved one when the flu strikes. Flu, or influenza, is not just a bad cold. It's a serious virus that can have significant implications for your health. Recognizing early signs and starting treatment can drastically reduce the severity of the illness. We'll discuss these signs and the initial steps you should take. Our focus will be practical and aimed at everyday care. We'll explore over-the-counter medications, home remedies, and lifestyle adjustments that can help ease symptoms and speed up recovery. Each tip is designed to be straightforward and easy to follow. Treating the flu effectively requires a combination of medical advice and self-care strategies. It's crucial to understand what medications are appropriate and when it might be necessary to seek further medical attention. We'll provide a detailed look at both aspects. Staying hydrated is a key component of flu treatment. The virus tends to dehydrate your body, making recovery harder. We'll discuss the types of fluids that are best and how often you should aim to drink. Rest is another critical factor. Your body needs energy to fight off the flu virus and recover. We'll talk about how much rest is needed and the best ways to make your resting environment more comfortable. Over-the-counter medications like paracetamol and ibuprofen can be very effective in managing flu symptoms. However, it's important to use them correctly. We'll go through how to safely use these medications to reduce fever and alleviate body aches. Sometimes the flu can lead to more serious complications, especially in the elderly, young children, and those with certain chronic illnesses. We'll outline what warning signs to look out for that indicate you should contact a healthcare provider. Antiviral medications can be prescribed by doctors to help treat the flu. These aren't necessary for everyone, but can be beneficial in some cases. We'll explain how these medications work and who might need them. In addition to medication, there are numerous home remedies that can provide relief. Simple things like warm soups, breathing steam, and using a humidifier can make a big difference. We'll provide easy-to-follow instructions on these methods. Maintaining a balanced diet is also important during flu recovery. We'll discuss what foods are best to eat while you're sick and why they help. Foods rich in vitamins and minerals can boost your immune system and speed up your recovery. It's also essential to isolate yourself to prevent the spread of the flu to others. We'll talk about how long you should stay at home and how to minimize the risk of infecting family members. Lastly, we'll touch on the importance of prevention, including the flu vaccine. Getting vaccinated each year is one of the best ways to protect yourself from the flu. We'll provide current advice on vaccination and who should consider getting it. Remember, while the flu is a common illness, each individual's experience can vary. Tailoring these tips to your specific needs and circumstances is important for effective recovery. Always consult with a healthcare provider for advice tailored to your personal health situation. By following the guidelines discussed in this video, you can manage flu symptoms more effectively and return to health safely and quickly. Stay tuned for more health tips and remember to take care of yourself this flu season. When treating the flu, the first step is to recognize the symptoms early. Symptoms like sudden fever, chills, body aches, and extreme tiredness are common indicators. Identifying these early helps in starting the treatment sooner, which can reduce the duration of the illness. Once symptoms are identified, the next step is to rest. 
Rest is crucial as it helps the body fight the infection effectively. Avoid going to work or school to also prevent the spread of the virus to others. Hydration is another essential step in treating the flu. The body loses fluids during a fever and through increased respiratory tract secretions. Drinking plenty of water, herbal teas or broths can help maintain hydration levels and ease symptoms like throat soreness. Using over-the-counter medications responsibly can alleviate many flu symptoms. Medications like paracetamol or ibuprofen help reduce fever and relieve pain. Always follow the dosage recommendations and consider any other medications you might be taking. For those prone to complications or severe symptoms, consulting a healthcare provider is a key step. They can prescribe antiviral drugs if necessary, which are most effective when taken shortly after symptoms begin. This can be crucial for the elderly pregnant women or individuals with chronic health conditions. Maintaining a nutritious diet can support immune function and aid recovery. Foods rich in vitamins such as fruits and vegetables should be incorporated into meals. Protein sources like chicken, fish and legumes are also beneficial for recovery. Isolation is important to prevent the spread of the virus. Stay at home and avoid close contact with other household members until you are fever-free for at least 24 hours without the use of fever-reducing medications. Use a separate bathroom if possible and wear a mask if you need to be around others. Finally, consider the annual flu vaccine as a preventive measure. While it might not always prevent the flu, it can significantly reduce the severity and duration of the disease if you do get sick. Vaccination is especially important for high-risk groups and can reduce the likelihood of severe outcomes. Before we move on to the rest of the video, if you are finding this helpful, please like, subscribe and comment as it really helps this video reach a wider audience. Here is a case study related to how to treat the flu. Sarah, a 34-year-old teacher from Bristol, started experiencing flu symptoms one winter evening. Recognising the early signs, she immediately decided to stay home from work, rest and increase her fluid intake. She consumed a lot of water and herbal teas and started taking paracetamol to manage her fever and body aches Sarah consulted her GP via a phone call the next day, who advised her to continue with her self-care measures and prescribed an antiviral medication because of her close contact with young children, making her a high-risk case for complications. Sarah followed all the advice, stayed isolated until she was symptom-free for 24 hours and recovered completely within a week. Her proactive approach in managing the flu effectively prevented the spread to her students and colleagues. In dealing with the flu, it's crucial to act quickly. If you start feeling the onset of flu symptoms, prioritise rest and limit your contact with others to prevent spreading the virus. Ensure you stay hydrated and consider using over-the-counter medications to help manage symptoms such as fever and aches. Maintaining a balanced diet and considering a flu vaccination each year as the season begins can also be beneficial in preventing severe cases. Remember, flu can be more than just an inconvenience, and taking the right steps can help you recover more comfortably and quickly. If your symptoms persist or worsen, it's important to seek medical advice as some cases might require prescription medication. If you found this video useful, please don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. Your support really helps us bring more health, focus content to you and is greatly appreciated. Thank you for watching.